My name is Leanne Ricca. I was connected to Abiding Care from 2008 until 2017. In 2008, there was a community meeting to determine if there was a need for a crisis pregnancy center in Medford. And at that meeting, I was very impressed with the people that were there and what they were saying. And so when they passed around a paper wanting to know what you were willing to contribute, um, I marked down that I was willing to be on the steering committee. By the fall of 2009, we had incorporated, we had gone from a steering committee to an actual board of directors, um, and we were really making plans. We had affiliated. So then in 2010, uh, in the summertime, we found our first building, our first premises that we were in, and that was in the same building that Pepsimic, I think most of our donors remember Pepsimic, um, he was in that same building, and we went to Pepsimic's office to ask him for a contribution, to ask him for some money. And when we showed him our first year budget and told him that we were going to be renting the office right, you know, down the hall from him, he said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I will pay your rent. So from that time on until the month he died, Pepsimic actually paid our rent on the offices that we were in. We didn't actually open for business until 2011 because we wanted to make sure that all of our staff and all of our volunteers had the necessary training so that when people came in to see us, we would actually be able to do the correct things to be of use to them. My name is Monica Halupka. I first came to Abiding Care in 2012. My kids' names are Haven, Ryder, Emmy, and Croy. I was 16 when I found out I was pregnant with Ryder, and I had no idea what I was going to do or what my options were as that high school teenager who, you know, hid her pregnancy from everybody at work because she didn't know if one day she wasn't gonna be pregnant because that was what she felt was her only option to going to abiding care, seeing my son on that screen and thinking, yeah, that's mine. That is the child that, who did in fact, you know, save me. He made life better in every way. So being uncertain to know that this is, this is what's supposed to happen and how it was supposed to happen and he's perfect. I honestly, I can't tell you where or who or what or if there would be a rider without abiding care, if there would be a Monica as a mom, or if there would be a Monica that finished high school or finished college or did anything whatsoever. Without them, I have no clue where I'd be. A woman who started out as a scared 17-year-old, four weeks pregnant, unmarried, and not having the vaguest idea what to do about it, has turned into um, a very talented and able and determined young woman who's doing the best that she can for her daughter and is doing a wonderful job of it. You know, one of the things that I noticed at the very beginning, too, is that no matter how scared she was, the first time that Grace came back into our office at the end of 2013 with her infant daughter in her hands, it was like you could actually palpably feel the love that she had for that tiny baby. 
I think you need to hear Grace's story from her own point of view. So these are the questions that we asked Grace, and these are the answers in her own words. What brought you to abiding care? What brought me to abiding care was Pat Schilling. She was at the time the pregnancy care coordinator at Aspirus Hospital in Medford. I found out I was pregnant when I was four weeks along. I was beyond scared. I was only 17 at the time. My parents didn't approve of me having the baby so young, but abiding care changed that. They were there for me when the most important people weren't. How did abiding care help you? It brings tears to my eyes remembering all who have helped me at Abiding Care. Abiding Care helped me mentally prepare for having a child. Most importantly, they told me it was going to be all right. What is life like for you now? So many things come to mind with this question, but most importantly, life now is beyond blessed. Lizzie is thriving. She is now seven and she is full of energy she is so kind and caring and loves going to school. We need more places like Abiding Care to help moms, dads, and teens, any and all who come here. They have helped so many people. I honestly don't know what I would have done if I didn't have their help. And she finishes off by saying, thank you again for speaking for me. Hi, I'm Taylor Mesner. I've been with Abiding Care for three years now. Back in 2017, I came in because I was pregnant with my daughter. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. My, I knew my family wouldn't support me at all. They probably would want me to get an abortion. My mom was pregnant at 17 with me, and they kept urging her to get an abortion. So I came to Abiding Care. I found out about them through my school counselor. And the first time I came, I felt so welcome. And they made me so happy by just knowing that they support me. And, uh, and I had somewhere to go and I felt like I belonged and they really are a second family to me. Um, they always told me that God would be with me and he would support me and there is a way and a reason. Um, I felt the reason I was having this baby was something to live for because um, my most of my high school I was depressed. So when I found out I was pregnant I got excited and I felt like there was a reason for me to live was to be a mom. So then after I found out that I was pregnant and I had resources, I was talking to my boyfriend about coming in and meeting all the nurses and Carrie, because I wanted to be on the same page he was and make sure everything was okay with him. And when he found out I was pregnant, it was okay for probably four months of my pregnancy. And then he got really abusive. I had guns held to my head and I was almost stabbed in the stomach by him. And Carrie and the nurses at Buying Care always thought I was safe. They told me that this is my baby. I have the right to make the decision to leave him be safe. They told me that they would help me every step of the way and that I could always come to them. So with their strength and their uh, confidence in me. I left him and I was a single mom, but I was the happiest mom. And it got so much better the more time I spent with abiding care and talking to him. I also take, I took some of their classes and that was amazing because that gave me more knowledge to being a mom and being a better mom. My thoughts on parenting before I came to buying care were pretty much feed the baby, change the diaper, and pat, hug them when they cry. And abiding care, 
taught me through their classes that that's not all you have to do for parenting. You feed them, you diaper them, you give them emotional support, physical support. You give them so much, the most you can in your life. Like they come first is what Binding Care taught me. That in no matter what situation, your children come first and they are loved by God, you are loved by God. This is Ryder, and I first saw him at a biting care on a little screen with his little heart beating, and now he is all grown up. This is DeAndre. He's going to be a year old in November. Uh, he loves running around, going outside, playing in the leaves, especially this time of year. It's hard to get him back inside, and he especially loves spending time with his grandpa. He loves his great grandpa. Yeah. You love Grandpa? Yeah. Ryder got a, a crib and a crib set when he was a baby. And his special blue nanny still is in his bed. Yeah. So you guys yeah. that all helped get Ryder his crib, he still has his blanket from there. So thank you. <laughs> when he wakes up in the morning, I am so excited to get him. So I open the door. To his room, uh, he gives me the biggest smile from his crib. He gets up, he says, Mama? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I just couldn't imagine not having him in my life. Um, every single day is a reward. Parenting is the best thing that has ever happened to me. As abiding care and their services weren't here, I probably wouldn't be a mother. Um, and I probably won't be here because of my depression and I would have had no life to live. So I just want to say thank you so much because I am a happy mom of two kids. Um, I would like to say thank you to anybody who has ever volunteered at Abiding Care or has donated their time or talents or financially, and anybody who's worked here, there's no words to say just how much of a difference you made in my life. And I can't go on to think of how many countless others. The greatest reward of parenting is seeing a smile on my son's face, hearing him laugh, um, just seeing him get big and strong. And, oh, it's just great. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.